Have you ever thought, there's got to be a better and simpler way to learn organizational strategies? 5 Minutes Learning has a global and diverse collection of case studies to help management students click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our upcoming and interesting case studies. As one of the biggest retail powerhouses in the US, Amazon began operations in India in 2004. With their user friendly website, they entered the Indian e commerce market. There was both good and bad news for the company in the Indian market. The good news was that more than 65% of consumers were under the age of 35 and had a high percentage of disposable income. They also owned smartphones and widely used the internet. The bad news was that 67% of the Indian population still lived in rural areas and had underdeveloped infrastructure. Further, only 35% of the Indian population had access to the internet. Customers preferred cash transactions to digital payments. FDI rules also restrict a foreign multi-brand retailer from selling the products and goods directly to consumers through digital channels. Thus, Amazon would need a third-party seller for the Indian market. To do all these tasks and deal with complexities, Amazon had to understand strategic market research. Despite these concerns, Amazon India achieved a $3 billion business. It was due to the fact that India has very high potential, and the company was even ahead of its competitors, including Flipkart and Snapdeal. The company used many techniques, such as business intelligence, machine learning, queuing systems, neural networks, and so on. These techniques helped understand consumers and develop customer-oriented strategies and approaches. The data from these methods was used at the boot camps that were organized for top management. In these camps, the focus was on understanding human behavior and its complexities. Subsequently, with this robust research and findings, they worked on the revenue per review. Additionally, they tried to understand how the approaches affected their business. Amazon also worked on the review conversion power by ensuring that each review was paid. Additionally, the company optimized search results and increased the number of reviews. They realized that high reviews are great, but if they are in proportion to the review count, they are outstanding. Amazon realized that their business was not based on clicks. Therefore, they had to dig deeper and work on untapped markets. They modified the search and used it to complete the process. This meant that when the users typed something, Amazon filled it in for them. In addition, Amazon uses Splitly and ReviewKick to acquire and manage the reviews on their platforms. As a result, if the user wants to receive reviews about the Amazon product, they can do so through the review option on the Amazon website. Here, several coupons are being provided to the real buyers for the reviews that they have written for Amazon. Thus, Amazon received reviews that were really effective and legitimate. Originally, this was a tool for product research, but it has evolved into a suite of tools for Amazon sellers. Since then, Amazon has changed the way data needs to be looked at and considered for business decisions. The entire Amazon product line has changed because of this shift in business perspective. They offered products such as gloves, yoga mats, and so on. Additionally, the company looked at products that enjoyed high consumer demand, competitive, and had many reviews. If the products are too expensive, it will be difficult for the company to get into that market. However, products such as barbecue gloves or garlic paste would be easier for the company to get into the market. Consumers find these products to be very user-friendly and highly regarded. They are less competitive and have more and better business opportunities. In order to ensure this, there is keyword search on Google. This platform is connected to Jungle Scout and Revenue. It monitors the demand and sales of products. For example, if a user is searching for a water bottle, this software will provide the data. It will allow them to declare that three sellers rank among the top 10 for reviews. 
A user can also get a comprehensive view of the overall listing. This may include private labels. In line with the same, Amazon works on the race framework, which means, 1. Reach. It is derived from the AdWords and keywords. 2. Act. Develop simple and transparent experiences by thorough testing. 3. Convert. Customize and provide relevant recommendations. 4. Engage. Involve and engage with the users. This approach leads to customer obsession and is always evaluated and monitored thoroughly by the company. To do so, Amazon conducts many experiments. They developed internal experimentation platforms, which are known as web labs. This platform was used by the company to assess the improvements in the company's website and products. In line with that, Amazon uses the data derived from this research for 1. Enhancing the website traffic 2. Increasing awareness about the products 3. Creating incremental products and opportunities for increasing revenue for the services 4. Strongly developing the Amazon brand Thank you so much for listening to this video. Do not forget to subscribe this YouTube channel for receiving updates about my upcoming case study videos.